Hey guys, um, this is a simple tutorial for getting the keys and IVs for firmware files. Um, we're going to be using green poison to do this. Uh, it's pretty easy and I'll get right into it. Um, so in the uh, video description of this video I will uh, include a uh, download to this um, file folder that I've made. Uh, it's an old version of Green Poison, uh, a tool called Recruit uh, for entering recovery mode and exiting recovery mode, and um, Xphone tool. Um, so first thing you're going to want to do is uh, download this, obviously, and go into terminal, type sudo sh, uh, type your password. It will not show up, um, but it will still be registered uh, for security purposes. Uh, you might want to have it just a text editor window open. Uh, this isn't just for copying and pasting anything you want to have a place for. Uh, if you need to copy and paste multiple things, like for multiple firmware files, I'm going to only show you how to do for one because it's pretty straightforward after that. Um, <clears throat> so in this case, I'm going to type... Um, well, first, I'm going to get the uh, firmware file. So uh, I'll start from scratch. Let's just say I want to use... Um, this, or, well, uh, let's see, this, uh, iPod Touch 4G, 4.3 Beta 3 IVSW. Uh, so what I would do is I would go here, rename this to zip, I would do dot, dot zip, and I would unarchive. I've already done that, so there's no need for that, and it will give you this folder. Okay, so, and then all the files are here. Um, I can't include these files in this, uh, folder because that's illegal. I can't redistribute Apple uh, copyrighted work. Um, so let's just try, uh, I don't know, the kernel. Um, so for iPod Touch 4G, it is the N81 kernel. So we're going to duplicate that. Um, and we're going to put it into this directory. I'm just going to call it uh, kernel. Pretty straightforward. Um, okay. So, where I'm going to type cd space, and then I'm going to drag and drop this folder. Okay. Obviously, you could manually change the directory to that, but if you want to be quick, you can do that. So, now um, you're going to type dot slash expone tool and just see the usage. Uh, usage doesn't really apply to this, but you're going to say um, dot slash expone tool kernel slash dev slash null and then I uh, think that's it yes okay so um, what this just provided me is the kernel uh, kbag sorry um, a kbag is uh, basically it's the key and IV combined and encrypted and the whole point of using your device to get the key and IV is to um, decrypt that this string for the device um, and it can only be on, done on the device because of the processor um, specific to the device okay so um, we have this file or I mean this string um, so you can see what time it is I am a little tired if I'm misspeaking so we're just gonna place that there alright um, so now what we want to do is obviously plug in your iPod or whatever device so mine's plugged in right now. I'm going to open rec boot, enter recovery mode. Okay. Device is in recovery mode. Really quick. This download's going to also include iRecovery. Sorry for this. Where is iRecovery? Uh, okay, so yeah, you need iRecovery, so that'll be included in the download. Don't worry about that. Um, so now we're gonna type dot slash iRecovery. See that usage? Just for in case you get confused, we're gonna say negative s. This is gonna start a shell with the iPod in recovery mode. Okay, so first thing you're gonna type is set and boot args two. Press enter, let it reset. Then you're going to say set an auto boot false. 
okay? And then you're going to type Savim. Okay, very important. Now, right after you finish doing this, put your device into DFU mode. Five one thousand, six one thousand, seven one thousand, one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, six one thousand, seven one thousand, eight one thousand, nine one thousand, ten. Okay, devices in recovery mode. I mean, in DFU mode. So now we open up this specific version of Green po Poison. Okay, and then we jailbreak as we normally would. And um, when you do this, dear Lord. When you do this, um, it's going to uh, flash a white screen on your device, and that'll be it, and it'll just be stuck be stuck on that white screen. Not to worry. That is exactly what you want. Okay. Now um, we're going to go back to terminal. Let's get out of this. sudo sh. Okay. We're going to type... Uh, we're going to say I recovery again or CD okay that's slash I recovery negative s you'll see all this okay awesome that's exactly what we want now you're going to type go AES deck in this string that you got from earlier now I'm going to enter this and the first time you do it, it doesn't work. It just doesn't look like it does anything. The second time, it provides you with the IV and the key of that file. So, um, this is what you exactly what you want. Um, I'm going to write a readme, I believe, if or just put something in this uh, download. If anything, if anything is confusing, I'll just put it in there. Uh, yeah. So, thanks for watching.